everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the True Colors Throw, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. I also have my sample one here, which you can see a corner of. This is the edging and one of the panels. This is a very easy blanket to work. It's worked primarily in the moss stitch, which uh, is one of the stitches that I enjoy with a simple front and back post edging. I've worked it using nine colors and the blanket has worked as one piece. So it's seamless uh, in each of these color joins. There's no need to join colors at the end, meaning that there's less ends for you to weave in. Uh, I love the drape and the feel of the moss stitch. It's the same on both sides and just a great weight and texture for a blanket. So today um, I'm going to be working a small sample of the blanket. Uh, the blanket, the original pattern, is worked in nine different colors. So in the photos I've used uh, the color Grand Canyon, Mammoth Cave, Sequoia, Yosemite, Petrified Forest, Canyonlands, Great Smoky Mountains, Hot Springs, and Olympic. Um, and I've used two balls of each color, and it's in the Lion Brand Heartland yarn. This is a 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn. Each ball has approximately 250 yards in it. So you're going to need two balls of each color, nine colors of your choice. As well, you're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also, you're going to need a copy of the written pattern that's free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to say hello down in the comments. And of course, uh, subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. There are a number of other crochet blanket patterns here as well for you to take a look at. So thank you so much. Let's get started. Now this design is worked in rows and it's worked with the Y's. The final blanket is approximately 52 by 60 inches. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our first three colors. Colors A, B and C and we're going to work all three of these colors into the foundation chain. So you're going to start by making a slip knot using your color A and then you're going to chain 77. Once you have chained 77 in your color A you'll want to join your color B. So when I join in the foundation chain, I start by making a slip knot with my color B. I'm going to place it on my hook and pull through. You're then going to continue working and chain 77 chains with your new color. Once you've worked 77 chains in your color B, once again you're going to switch to a new color. So taking your color C, make a slip knot, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're then going to continue chaining, and you're going to chain a total this time of 79 stitches. Once you have worked 79 stitches in your final color, you'll have your two joins. You're then ready to turn your work and begin row one. For row one, we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. So one, two, three, four, into this fourth chain, work one double crochet. Your chain three at the beginning also counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to double crochet into each stitch all the way across, changing colors when necessary. 
So I'm going to go ahead and work this first color all the way across to my color change and I'll show you exactly how I like to do that in a double crochet stitch. When you come across in row one and you come to your color change, you'll have one stitch remaining and that's where I like to change my color. So what you're going to do at that time is yarn over, insert your hook into the final stitch. I'm working in uh, my color C here. Yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to drop that color that you're working with and pick up the next color. Place it on your hook and simply pull through. This is the way you're going to change color all the way through, uh, except sometimes you'll be working with a single crochet. So you'll always just draw your new color through those last two loops on your hook. You're then set to continue, so yarn over and then jump to your next stitch in your color B and work your double crochets all the way across until you come back to your color A. When you come back to your color A, change color again just as I did there and double crochet in each stitch all the way across. This is going to give you your seamless color join just as you see here. So continue working your double crochets all the way across row one of your blanket. At the end of row one you've come all the way across you have your joins complete uh, and I should have mentioned uh, each time you join, you are going to leave that color attached so we're not fastening off at the end of each join. You want to keep your colors attached and we're going to carry them up as we work. So you have your row of double crochet all the way across. At the end of row one, you can chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're working at this time a bit of an edging onto our blanket. So you're going to begin by working a half double crochet into the first stitch, followed by a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. To work your front post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook from the front through to the back and around out to the front again, yarn around the post, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. So yarn over, this time bring your hook in back of your work and insert from the back to the front, around the post and out through the back again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more loops. That's your back post double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next. Repeat all the way across changing colors as necessary using the trick that I showed you before all the way to the final stitch uh, of your row one. At the end of row two, your final half double crochet stitch is going to be worked into the top of that starting chain three. Remember it counts as a stitch. So work your final half double crochet, chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to work another row of front and back post double crochet stitches, beginning with a half double crochet into the first stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch and repeat. Back post double crochet around the next stitch and front post double crochet around the next. Repeat that all the way across, changing colors as needed, uh, all the way to your final stitch and half double crochet into that final stitch. 
at the end of your row three half double crochet into that final stitch chain one and turn your work you should be seeing some beautiful joins there as you are changing colors so you turn your work for row four we're going to begin with a half double crochet into that first stitch followed by a front post double crochet into the next and a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch you're then going to repeat that all the way across front post double crochet around the next stitch back post double crochet around the next and of course change your color as needed so repeat that all the way across a half double crochet into your final stitch when you come all the way across at the end of your row four half double crochet into that first stitch chain one and turn your work we're now going to jump into our moss stitch pattern so what we're going to do is we're going to start by chaining two okay so we have one chain two chains you're then going to skip the first two stitches and single crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch you're going to repeat that all the way across changing colors as needed and as I come to my second color here I will show you how I do that with the moss stitch so chain one skip one single crochet into the next stitch all the way across when you come across and you're there at the point of changing color you've chained one skip one one stitch remaining insert your hook yarn over drop that color a and pick up your color B place it on your hook and then continue chain one skip one single crochet in the next stitch you want the pattern to be seamless so you don't want to double up single crochets anywhere just continue working the chain one skip one pattern all the way across when you come across to your next color chain in this row five or color change in row five you're going to end off with a single crochet you have one stitch left in blue which is going to be your chain one you're then going to drop that color B and what I did was I just simply single crocheted started the single crochet into the next stitch with my color uh, it would have been a and then yarn over and pull through both and that's how I did the color change when it comes to a uh, chain one okay so I'll show you that one more time chain one for that next stitch drop your color B pick up your next color insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two for that single crochet stitch okay and then just remember that this is a single crochet in that uh, in that color a okay because it will have a blue top you won't see that when you work into it later so then just continue chain one single crochet into the next stitch all the way across and uh, when you come to the end you're going to end with a single crochet into that final stitch and chain two and turn your work at the end of your blanket chain or single crochet in that final stitch chain two and turn your work now for the rest of the pattern 
you're going to repeat this row. You're going to skip that single crochet and then into the next chain one space, work a single crochet stitch, chain one, skip the single crochet and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch, chain one and so forth all the way across, changing colors as needed. So what you're going to do is you're going to repeat this row. At the end of each row, you will uh, single crochet into the final chain two space, chain two, and turn your work. You're going to repeat that until your work from the beginning measures approximately 20 inches. So starting here, all the way up 20 inches. When it reaches 20 inches, you're going to introduce your next three colors. So color D, E, and F. Work those for 20 inches. Once you have 20 inches of your colors D, E, and F, you're going to work another 17 or 17 and a half inches of your next three colors, G, H, and I. Once you've worked 17 and a half inches, and I'm not going to show you here because I did show you how to do it uh, down here at the bottom, you're going to work one row of double crochet stitches and then re repeat. So work one row of double crochet, repeat uh, rows two, three, and four for the final three rows of your blanket. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and your true color throw is complete. If you need to see that all written down, go ahead, take a look at the free copy on richtexturescrochet.com. It's linked directly in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to work the true colors throw. And uh, I can't wait to see what colors you choose to show off in this blanket. Be sure to tag me on social media. Say hello down in the comments and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.